standing by to go live. It was bigger than the World Cup. It was bigger than the Olympics. Welcome to Miss World 1970. It was just huge. The glamour, the glitz, the fantasy of it all. In the 70s, women weren't allowed to dream beyond making a cupcake. <laughs> making poor Gareth cook dinner? Well, I think that's sexist. A lot of women were like, this is absolutely outrageous. They're turning oppression into spectacle. Let's make a spectacle of our own. Some group calling themselves the Women's Liberation Movement. Apparently, they're going to overthrow the patriarchy. Overthrow the what? Men like you, Eric. Let's clear, please. And action. The thing about this script, which is so exciting, is that there are three different worlds in this story which so into each other. It's told from the point of view of the women's libbers. It's told from the point of view of Bob Hope, who was the host of that year's Miss World, and the point of view of the Miss World contestants. For a lot of women, it was a platform and an opportunity. You know, Jennifer was the first woman of colour to win Miss World. It's quite surprising to watch now, and you kind of do feel like, Wow, this is really of another time. Just a statutory padding check, dear. All of us are standing there in our little swimming quasies, and the press literally come running at us. Mm -hmm. The camera's clicking, saying, give us a smile, give us a wink, love. <laughs> Alphabetical order, come on, Yugoslavia. What are you doing up here? That's A. <laughs> Misbehaviour is a drama, but it's also very funny. It's joyful, and it's a celebration, really, of women, of whatever ideas they had. I mean, I read it, and I was, like, punching the air. There's such humour and wit. Every scene with Keely Hawes has been just joyous. Rhys is extraordinary. He's a, just a force of nature. I mean, he is so funny. It's been an absolute joy. I am Miss World. I am free. I am she. Miss Miss World. There's a Miss World in us all. Yep. Cutting there. Together, we will be a revolution. This film is very relevant to today. Clearly, there's a long way to go, and yeah. misbehaviour highlights that beautifully. It touches on so many different issues. It's not you we're angry at. I look forward to having your choices in life. Tonight may be the start of something, Bob. A female writer, female director, all female producers, and the female gaze is just so strong in this film. Whether you were the contestant wanting to win and wanting to change your life, or whether it was the women protesting and saying something needs to change. Whoever you agree with or whoever you sympathise with, I think it will make you question maybe what you think. We have to keep making sure that we <laughs> pose those questions, make choices for ourselves. When people watch this film, I want them to go away feeling really inspired. A society which embraces women and their talents is a good society for everybody. It's a salutary reminder of where we've come from and how far we have to go.